Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about an alternative gaming platform and of course as a PC enthusiast, every now and then I like to delve into Linux so we're going to talk a little bit about Linux gaming because it has been in the news quite recently. So let's go ahead and look at the news and then we'll actually take this for a test drive. So for those of you that don't know, it is actually possible to run Windows applications in Linux through compatibility layers, the most popular of which is Wine. And Valve through Steam has actually been focused on getting games that are only available right now for the Windows platform over to Linux environments through compatibility layers. So from Valve's perspective, the whole idea with Steam Play right now with adding this compatibility layer and allowing Windows games to be installed and run in a Linux environment is to make the end user experience extremely good in that just like any other native game you would click install it would install the game like normally and you could hit play and then just run the game as if it was a native game even though it's running through a compatibility layer basically putting all the heavy lifting on steam and steam developers so currently the beta version of steam play which is sort of introducing this feature is extremely limited uh, we have games that are somewhat new and then extremely old games and sort of everywhere in between. So for example, I have Final Fantasy VI in my Steam library. It's a game that you wouldn't really expect to see on any sort of list that is for a new feature, especially one with such a limited game selection. But Final Fantasy VI is available and I have tested that game out as well as Doom, which is uh, somewhat of a new game and is still featured in a lot of benchmarks for tech tubers around the internet. So we're actually gonna put both those games to the test because they both just happen to be in my Steam library. And funny enough, since I've already done this, I already know sort of the end result. When it works, it works really well, and when it doesn't work, it's pretty awful and doesn't really give the end user a good experience. But the whole point here is that Linux gaming is getting better. There are efforts afoot to actually make the experience better. We're just not quite there yet. Okay, so now that we're in the Linux environment, we're gonna go ahead and load up Final Fantasy VI, which is not supported on the Linux platform, but uh, just in case you don't know, once you download uh, Steam for Linux, to get this whole beta program working, all you have to do is go into your settings in Steam, and then you just have to click on the beta program participation and make sure that you have opted in to the uh, new beta that's available for Steam on the Linux version, and then you're done. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the library here and play Final Fantasy VI, which I've already installed this, and the installers for both of these games worked extremely well. I just hit install, it installed everything that it needed to, I had to click a couple buttons to just sort of click through the installer, and we were good to go. So just like on the Windows version, you click play, and then click play again, and we should get Final Fantasy VI popping up. So here we are with Final Fantasy VI now running, Go ahead and hit the enter button, and uh, just like with the Windows version, it looks flawless. It's running in a windowed mode, and you can load up a file, and away we go. So I know that you guys do not have uh, sound for this because I am currently not using sound, uh, but this game is phenomenal. If you've never played Final Fantasy VI, uh, it is worth every bit of your time to play this game. The narrative in the game is phenomenal. Um, and I'm just gonna sort of click through this fight. So what you're seeing here is the frame rate is fine, the game is running just great, and it is, for my intents and purposes, it's flawless. So Final Fantasy VI, at least for me, running Ubuntu with an RX 580, completely flawless, I see no problem with it whatsoever. So we're gonna go ahead and close Final Fantasy VI and move over to Doom because Doom is a little bit different. Let's click play and see what happens. Because I've had a couple different problems with Doom, I haven't troubleshot this problem because, again, the whole purpose of this beta is to make the end user experience a good one. So if you have to mess around with it, you're just not getting a good experience. You're not getting the same just install up and running and off to the races that you would get with Windows. And exactly uh, what I've seen before is what's happening here. So this is why this program is not quite ready for prime time. And you sort of see it over my shoulder as well here, um, not just through the capture card, but this is not a playable thing at all. It's it's very unplayable as a matter of fact. Uh, you do get an image that's clearly coming from the game, but you also just have a whole big mess of problems. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this.
because you don't want to see it in the background flashing and flickering and causing seizures and that sort of thing. So here's the point, guys. Uh, Steam Play is making strides forward for Linux gaming, and developers in general have been doing a better job in recent years of supporting Linux as a platform for gaming, but it's not quite there yet. The platform is just not a great gaming platform. If I were you and you're building a new gaming PC, even if you hate Windows, uh, you can always run a virtual machine on a Linux distribution. And really, if the whole activation issue with Windows is what sort of your hang up, you don't like that watermark uh, to activate Windows or anything like that, you can buy Windows keys on eBay for $10 or less. So it's not even a big financial investment because you buy one key once and your computer's good to go from now to the end of time or until you upgrade your motherboard, uh, which I believe is what the Windows keys are tied to, at which case you might have to transfer the key over or just get a new key. Point being here, guys, Steam Play making positive strides. I really like the program. Hopefully, we see more games entering that list as well as getting the ones that are already on the list actually working um, with a sort of just click and play mechanism because for the end user, when it works like Final Fantasy VI, it's awesome. It just works and you're off to the races. There's no fiddling in the background with uh, Linux. There's no uh, getting into the command line, editing files, any of that with it when it does work. Though obviously with Doom, at least with Ubuntu, with my current setup, uh, it's just not working and I'm not willing to dive into it because I can just put the game on Windows and I'm good to go. But of course, I always wanna kick it back to you guys. Do you game on Linux? And if you do, let us know down below. Are you running compatibility layers to get some of those uh, Windows only games running? Or are you just sticking to Linux titles? Let us know down below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Those things do help out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.